My name is Ria Melder, and today in Bref Studio we have two German directors, Achim von Boris and Hank Handelgitten. In uh, Black Knights Film Festival, we can see their TV series Babylon Berlin, which is a crime history drama about Berlin in the Roaring Twenties, which was the epicenter of political and uh, social change. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Thank you so Good much day. for being here. So, um, the story is actually based on novels by Volker Gutschter, so the first of which was published in 2008 called The Wet Fish. Um, they have a strong emphasis on historical accuracy. So why do you think you were drawn to this topic in general to make a TV series about it? Um, Hank and me, we've, we've been in this period, let's say, for quite a lot, long time. We, we've wrote, written a, a script together for a feature film called Love and Thoughts, a film I directed in 2004 or three. Mm -hmm. Four. Um, and this, uh, this uh, student days, drama set in, in 27, 1927. And we fell in love with this period and, and always had the idea of telling a bigger story um, um, about this time. And Tom Tigwe had the same idea in a way. And then this novel came and he got the, uh, his company bought the rights for the novel and he called us and said, listen guys, I know you, you are thinking about the 20s for a long time and you're experts in this. Can we meet and read this novel? And Hank knew the novel, of course. And so we found out this could be something because to have the idea of, um, I mean, having the idea of making a panorama of the 20s or Berlin in the 20s is actually nothing. It's, you don't have a story. And we found this story in the novel. Um, so you mentioned your co-creator, Tom Tiker. Mm -hmm. Um, what is the main thing? Why do you think your collaboration works seamlessly? How does how do you make it all work? Well, <clears throat> it's very good if you work uh, if you are the three of you. Um, it's a very dynamic process. Imagine if you. Uh, I mean, everybody can understand that if you write alone, you you're alone with yourself. You're alone with your enthusiasm. You're alone with your failures. You're alone with your depression. You know, you're just alone. If you work the two of you. It's uh, very much, it's much better, but then it's always like a, like a tennis game, you know? Mm. It's like a ping pong. And um, so basically, if, if there are two people working, writing, it's uh, thesis, antithesis, synthesis. So there has to be a boss. If you're three, it's very good, very dynamic, sportive, because you have the smallest amount of an audience. See, if, I, I'm, if I'm going to tell you an, uh, an idea and you both look at me, I can see in, in, in the look of your eyes, oh, it was good or no, no it was no. So, so that's really good to, if you work the three of you, you know, it's like everybody has his weaknesses or a weak day or a very strong day. So I, I think it's, you know, a perfect amount of, of, uh, of people working. You need to create a room where every idea is, um, where you can say every idea. Mm. Like there is no no or there is mm. nothing like a bad idea, mm -hmm. so you have to create a room like where you, um, where create creativity really kind of can grow, you mm -hmm. know. And and the other thing is you need to respect your colleagues, and plus it should should um, you have to have a um, you have to 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 be tough in a way because mm -hmm. of course like when we write when it comes to writing or even with ideas. It's not all only nice, like if your colleagues say, no, I, I, I don't agree, it's not mm -hmm. such a good idea. And you feel like, oh, it's two to one. Mm -hmm. Why? It's unfair. But <laughs> um, and this is the, probably the third thing that you, you, you do it with respect and, and, and kind of strengths, inner strengths mm -hmm. in a way. Right. And but it's interesting because you mentioned that you're film students. I mean, this is, uh, we, we were also in film school yeah. together. Yes. So <coughs> it's, it's pretty hard to imagine for me, before I started this project, that, um, that actually if you, if you work together with other directors, uh, and, and we also shot it together, I mean, not, not being there on the set together, but um, we, we didn't shoot episodes, we mm -hmm. shot locations. So we ac actually, there were three writer-directors making a movie together, which for me, it was, I, I couldn't, you know, at first couldn't believe how, how should that work. Mm -hmm. But basically it's about, um, uh, you have to skip your vanity, yeah. you have to skip your ego. 
you know, because it's not about you and your vanity, because it's about the movie, it's about the project. So the project is the big boss. Yeah. He tells you what to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. in a way. That's right. That's right. And, and it was, of course, it was <coughs> tough. And directing was kind of easy in mm -hmm. a way that we were alone, like uh, being responsible for the part that each of us had to do. But then, then, like the editing, it's like rewriting again mm. for the third time, um, reinventing the movie. We were sitting together, and of course, like when Hank is, I, 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 for example, shot a scene or a sequence, and I showed it to the others, and then said, Hank said, like, okay, now let me edit it. Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> Why would? Okay, no, but it's good. Because but after know, a while, you you keep in in a flow, and especially with this amount of material, mm -hmm. imagine we had sixteen episodes, which is. 16 movies uh, that and <coughs> but we we worked on it like um, constantly and and it wasn't e always easy but at the end like uh, it it all of us agreed and we were we, we we didn't finish until each of us were happy each of you were happy That's absolutely right. and we had a very simple um, simple <laughs> because sometimes you don't agree and mm -hmm. then we had a simple uh, system it's two to one mm -hmm. and and but the one was could only say always say like okay I might be um, I might be wrong in this way or they, they don't follow me but I am the better player because mm -hmm. we had this German football match um, Holland uh, Germany and Germany won in 1974 74. <laughs> two to one the final and Germany won but, but they, they were, were the, 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 the Dutch were the better ma um, mm. team. So you can say, we are, I'm the better team even though I... Yeah, you're <laughs> the outnumbered. others decide. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, it's really interesting to hear about this intimate collaborative process because the TV show is kind of blown up. Do you feel, just in terms of your experience, that um, high-budget artistic expression might be moving a little bit more from cinema screens to television screens? Yes, I think so. In the U.S., yes. And now well, no, I think uh, all everywhere. over the world. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, it's, <coughs> it's like, a, like a new genre or a new branch of, of movie making. People don't go to the movies anymore so often. And, uh, or, or you can also say that uh, people that, that are interested in um, content, I mean, in content in the movies, um, they tend to watch uh, TV series much more than they used to. Um, because, of course, I mean, it's very easy and many people have done it, but it's, it's right to compare a television series to a novel and a feature film to a novella or a, or a short story. Right. So, of course, it's great that uh, we as filmmakers are now <coughs> getting into the uh, evolution of movies uh, into the novel period. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, uh, filmmaking is only uh, 120 years old. <laughs> so. We are, um, we are expanding, we are experimenting, but if you compare filmmaking to uh, literature, of course we are still very primitive and naive. Mm -hmm. So at the moment we have not reached stream of consciousness from Joyce or something uh, in terms of movie making, but we are trying to get there. Right. Yeah, right. That's a really interesting thought. So um, as you mentioned before, you have both been to film school. And we are currently in film school. So what essentially can you tell us one thing about, like one piece of advice for us to make a hit TV, so, a TV show? Do you want to make a TV show? I want to make a TV show right now. Well, where? I want to make a successful TV show. All right. That's not the idea. That's not the idea? We don't want <coughs> to do an expensive TV show. We wanted to tell a story about an era for you as students, I don't know, first of all, find a good partner. As we did, we started in film school to work together and it was... Um, if I wouldn't have met Hank, I, I wouldn't be here, to be honest, because we, we helped a lot and he encouraged me a lot also with my films, or I think I did the same for him, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, it was so important to find a partner because there's, it's kind of cold outside and, and it's better to be together in a way and it's even better to be three of us like and so join with somebody you respect and you and then think about something unique. Yeah. So I guess if, you, if you're looking for a story you have to find a story that is really matters a lot to you. Yeah. The 20s matter a lot to us. So, um, and the 20s in Berlin 
mattered a lot to us because, you know, we've been living in the city, and basically it's, it's, a, it's a film about the city we are living in. And it tells a, a lot about nowadays, but uh, you have to live in Berlin to make a movie like we did, because you walk around and you see, okay, there's, there, there's another building missing, you know, there, there's a new building. Oh, well, obviously there was another building there. And so you can see the scars of the history and, and of course of the war in, in, in Berlin. So uh, <clears throat> this is something that matters to us because we live there. So um, you have to find something that really matters to you and it's only you, you can tell it. And, uh, and, and don't think too much about, uh, is, it, is it going to be interesting for, for other people? And Achim is absolutely right. <clears throat> you should look for partners, not, not um, only to, to write with them together, but also to tell them the story. And uh, because if it, something matters to you, um, <clears throat> it might be very intimate, which is good, but you should not be private, which is completely embarrassing and ridiculous. So if you tell it to somebody who's like, okay, but that's your private shit, I'm not interested. So you'll find out very, very fast, you know? You know what I mean? It's like you have to have a corrective also, mm -hmm. like, like a writer has his lecture about whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the other thing. Yeah. All right, well, thank you. Thanks. And thank you so much for coming on. That's thank all of my questions. Thank you for having us here. Good thank luck you. for your TV show. <laughs> Future. Thank you, and thank you for tuning in. Thanks.